everybody. Welcome back to Work Right Planner. Today, we are going to do my dreaded debt snowball uh, debt confession for 2023. Now, as you all know, I've been working on paying off debt for a while now, but the last several years have hit us very, very hard. We had uh, water damage in the front of the house and then water damage in the back of the house and there's just been a whole lot of stuff that has happened the last couple of years. And I have not made the progress that I would have hoped to have made. So, sorry if you can hear my dog. It is not pretty, y'all. To give you an idea, we began 2022 with $122,231.80 in debt. At the end of August, I had paid that down to $119,854.06, and considering that most of my interest rates were right about 25%, 24.99%, I considered that fairly good progress. And then the last quarter of 2022 came, and it all went to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> I'll just, yeah. Okay, so. We were down to 119,000. Let's see where we're at now, shall we? So the balance, Menards is completely paid off. So that one's gone. So that is an achievement. Lowe's is now at $1,034.55. And that is because my washer and dryer died and I had to get a new set. So. There's that one. Um, Murray State is now below $2,000. I'm very excited about that. So $1,969.49. Capital One. Oh, the bane of my existence. $3,169.49. Wells Fargo is new furniture. We had to get a new love seat. Um, we rearranged the living room and the furniture literally fell apart. Which of course, you know, it had been owned a lot and moved a lot and all of that jazz. So I guess it was time, you know. We definitely got our money's worth out of the previous furniture, but a thousand dollar emergency fund does not cover water damage to the front of your house, your appliances dying, and your furniture falling apart. It just doesn't. So we had to add, it makes me so sad, we had to add debt. So that is $2,064. Whoa. Hold that thought. Okay. I fixed that. Lord have mercy. Okay, let me go back up here. Lowe's is $1,034.55. Minimum monthly payment, $108. Which means the accrued payment is $108. And if we only pay the $108, we will have this paid off October 2023. Murray State is $1,969.49. Minimum payment is $25. The accrued payment, so if we don't pay anything extra and just roll these payments into each other, would become $133. And that would get us paid off by November 2024. The Wells Fargo is $2,064.85. The minimum payment on that one is $44. Adding all of that up would give us $177 a month once these are paid off. And that would be May of 2025 if we didn't throw anything extra at it. Capital One is $3,169.49. The 
The minimum payment on that is $81. That brings our accumulated payment to $258, which would get that paid off in March of 2026, if we don't throw anything extra at this. Um, and if you wonder how I'm coming up with these dates, there was a spreadsheet that I think it was D versus Debt shared in one of her videos last year or the year before. And it's a free download. Um, if I can remember where I got it from, I'll put the link in the description box below. But it is wonderful for projecting. And of course, it's just an estimate, but it's an Excel spreadsheet and it projects out when you'll be paid off if you make your minimal monthly payments. And this, of course, is applying the debt snowball method but I put in that I wasn't putting anything extra, just the regular monthly payments, and that's how I came up with these dates. <clears throat> so, anything extra that I can throw at it is going to make these closer. That's how I look at it. So, Kia is 9074 dollars and 32 cents. The minimum monthly payment on that is $175. So that's going to bring us to $433 a month. And that gets us paid off by October of 2026. The Chevy is $9,700. $68.06. The minimal monthly payment on that is $216. Let me stop doing math in my head here. $433 plus $216. $649. That has this projected to be paid off by November of 2026 so it looks like November 2026 will be a really good year <laughs> you know if nothing changes Kia which is a student loan ten thousand three hundred sixty seven dollars and fifty seven cents I apologize if you hear my other dog eating their food hundred and seventy five dollars a month Plus 175. So that gives me $824 as the accumulated monthly payment. And that'll get that paid off April of 2027. Now I have been paying on this loan for a very, very long time. The principal on it was $10,000. I'm still, as you can see, not even making a dent in the principal balance on it. It's very upsetting, but I have figured it up, and by March, I should be making payments toward the principal. Hallelujah. Finally. Mohila is who now owns my Fed loans. Um, that is $38,749.57. The minimum payment on that right now is zero. Um, the approved payment that I had before it went to zero was $52 a month because I'm on an income-based repayment. That will be more, um, but we're going to go ahead and set it on what the current numbers are. So we're going to add 52, and that makes us 876, and the projected payoff will be July of 2032. Now, that's nine years from now. I will not owe this balance nine years from now. Um, I'll have to give you all a student loan forgiveness update, um, but I've been working for the state now for a long time, and I, they will forgive this balance before I ever get to nine years from now. So, this one, you could almost just knock it out of the running, but it's here for a reason. Mammal, 
my beautiful, lovely memo, loaned me money to go back to school, and she told me not to pay it until all of my other debt was paid. So she is down here with $1,375. I do not have a minimum monthly payment. $876 will be what she starts getting whenever all of this is paid. Memo should be paid off by August. 2032. I hope that comes a whole lot sooner. The house is $47,781.64. And that, uh, the payment toward the house is $258.00. So we're going to add the 258. We have $1,134 is what I'll be paying starting in September of 2032. And that will get the house paid off April of 2035. I don't like that idea. <laughs> because life's still going to happen in the meantime, right? So I'm going to throw everything at this that I can. I should have marked this out because this is not something we're going to total. Um, this obviously adds up to 1134, so I don't need to add that either. I should have marked that out. And we don't actually need these, so I'm just going to scribble through those. This one, though, this total, <sighs> according to my spreadsheet, is... A hundred and twenty five thousand three hundred fifty four dollars and fifty four cents so the last quarter of 2023 354 54 minus where we were at the end of August six $5,500.48 is what the last quarter of 2023 cost me. My $1,000 emergency fund would not cover that, y'all. It just wouldn't. And to add insult to injury, I've paid out thousands and thousands of dollars this year. Uh, like, that's my monthly payment toward all of this debt, right? Um, so thousands and thousands of dollars this year to start out higher than I did the year before. That's a bit on the depressing side because I was working really hard toward getting this paid down. But it is what it is, right? Now, let's go look at the net income. Okay, so I've got my net worth tracker. Um, this is something new that I made for 2023 because I wanted to be able to see this in my planner. I've already got the liabilities listed because that is just all the debt that I owe and we just went over that. comes out to $125,354.54. And now we're going to go over my assets. So the Chevy is worth $10,000. $432, okay, according to Kelly Blue Book. The Kia is worth $10,518, according to Kelly Blue Book, so it's slightly better off. The pension has $16,000. $924.87 in it. And my house, according to Zillow, has a Zestimate of $88,600. So, not too shabby. All of that adds up to $126,474.88. And 
87 cents. If you take that number and subtract the liabilities, you get my net worth, which praise Jesus is still gonna be a positive number. Minus 125, 354, 4. It's not much of a positive net worth, but it's still a positive number. So we've got $1,120.33. That is not what I had hoped that my net worth would be right now. Um, in January of 2022, like I had an $11,000 net worth. So what has happened is the inflated vehicle prices that they had have gone back down, um, which took off a whole lot of that. They're not worth as much now as they were in early 2022. But this is what we have going into 2023, and we will check back quarterly to see how we're doing. Okay, that's all I've got for you to in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave me a comment, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!